What's going on, boxing fans? Julian Williams here at the distance. I got a prediction for you guys this afternoon. This one is Glenn Johnson versus Alan Green. The matchup takes place November the sixth for the for the Super Six Super Middleweight Tournament. Um, interesting matchup because there's a lot of suspense going into this matchup. Part of the suspense is can Glenn Johnson make the 168 pound limit, which is um, something he, which is a weight class he didn't make since since 2000, about 10 years ago. And being the older fighter that he is, and possibly having trouble making 175, it makes it a little bit of, you know, suspense. It brings a little bit of suspense into this fight. Me personally, I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't, if he didn't make the 168 pound limit. Um, or made it healthy, if he went down to the weight healthy. I think he more than likely would be killing himself just to make the weight. I think in this matchup, what we're going to have to look at is is Glenn Johnson. If Glenn Johnson is pretty much trying to make weight to get into this fight, then I think that's going to be his main focus more so than Alan Green. On the other side, there's Alan Green, a fighter who is pretty much just shut out in his last fight. Um, didn't show any way to adapt to Andre Ward's style. And he fought him like you know in many different ways, but he but when he got him on the inside, he had some trouble facing Andre Ward on the inside. So you know there's a lot of questions with Alan Green being in the tournament, whether or not he has the boxing ability, not necessarily boxing ability, but does he have what it takes to be in this tournament? That's pretty much one of the questions in this you know coming into this matchup, and also you know Glenn Johnson. You know, he's coming at the end of his career, and you know, he's 40, 41 years old, and he's trying to make a weight that he hasn't made in 10 years. So that's going to be something that we're all going to be looking at in this matchup. But a healthy Glenn Johnson with his style. Um, a healthy Glenn Johnson, you know, is possesses a style that's trouble for Alan Green. Um, Alan you know, for Glenn Johnson to win this matchup, of course, he's going to have to make it an inside matchup. Glenn Johnson does a good job of walking inside, blocking shots to get in. Doesn't necessarily use the jab. Um, something I admire about him, because he doesn't use the jab to get inside. He, he blocks punches, he gets in, and he gets his shots off inside. Um, he doesn't doesn't clinch out too much, but he smothers you inside, and that's what he's going to have to do to Allen Green, smother him inside. Use the straight left hand that he was able to land against Yusuf Mack and, and Tavoris Cloud. Um, that's you know that straight left hand is very stiff, and it sets up a uh, it sets up that right hook that he throws very well. I think in this matchup, this is that's what he's gonna have to do: straight left hand, right hook, um, that type of combination, and also throw a lot of combinations inside, uppercut inside, um, rough up Alan Green, make him go back towards the ropes. Alan Green showed in in many of his matchups, um, two two uh, matchups to be specific, Andre Ward and Edison Miranda back in 2000. Um, and even though that was a match where he was slow and sluggish because he was going down and weighed to like 162 pounds and got sick, um, he did show inability to fight off the ropes. In in both of these matchups, if you get him on the ropes, he's just kind of a he's, you know he's just kind of standing there, and he waits a lot. Take advantage of Alan Green waiting a lot. Take advantage of him just th you know throwing just a single shot, and when he throws a single shot, counter, it. counter his single shots. Maybe that'll make Alan Green throw more combinations, even though that's not his, his style. Alan Green's the type of fire that looks for openings. But if you come in and you smother him, you you fight him inside, and you don't give him a chance to think. You don't give him that opportunity to think. You don't give him that opportunity to um to um try to land a single shot from out of range and and also you know you're you're fighting him in a way that he's had trouble with in the past just fighting on the inside I think that's what Glenn Johnson's gonna have to do in order to win this matchup Alan Green's gonna have to fight you know a very disciplined matchup um, you know like I say he throws single shots he looks for openings he he pretty much he can land a pretty good right hook um, from out of range um, but against Glenn Johnson, he's going to have to find his range. Um, find his range in this matchup is using the jab and not throwing a single jab. And if he throws a single jab, he's going to have to move right after he throws a single jab. Also pushing off Glenn Johnson so that he doesn't get any opportunities inside. 
you know, he doesn't want, he wants this to be an outside fight as much as possible in this matchup. Um, this, you know, this should be an outside fight for Alan Green. He's tall. He has, you know, he's quite quite rangy, and he has, you know, he has power. Has power in the punches. You know, he's gonna have to. I think that possibly, if the weight, if making the weight is a factor for Glenn Johnson, he's gonna. I think Alan Green's gonna be the stronger fighter, so he's gonna have to push off. You know, kind of like what um, what Foreman would do and what Klitschko would do. Um, he's gonna have to push off. Um, quite a bit, and pretty much just work from from the outside. Keep it an outside fight. Find the shots on the inside. Find, I mean, find the shots from the outside, but use the jab to set up these shots from the outside. Jump in and then jump out. Um, also, if it becomes an inside fight, clinch on the inside. Um, I think that's going to be Alan, Alan Green's way way to victory. Um, stay stay um, on the outside as much as possible. Stay on the outside. Use a lot of lateral movement. Um, don't no. Don't come forward. Um, just move side to side. Use a single. You know, if he's going to use a, a jab, use a single jab. Throw um, throw some combinations, but throw them in spurts. And you know, to be effective and to get points. And I think that's going to be the keys for Alan Green to win this matchup. And I keep referring back to making weight and how it could possibly be trouble for Glenn Johnson. And a fighter who focuses on making weight doesn't really focus on winning the fight sometimes. They're more focused on the weight. Also, in his last matchup against Tavoris Cloud, um, Glenn Johnson did get hurt with a right hand. Um, I think possibly, you know, with the weight possibly being a factor, I think that Alan Green could catch him. Um, could catch him possibly on the inside um, with the same, possibly the same counter punch. Um, this matchup is a mystery. I don't know. You know, it's one of those matches where you just don't know. You don't know who's. You really don't have an idea of who might win this matchup because of the styles involved, and it's so and there's so much suspense going into it. So with me, I'm gonna say Alan Green. I think Alan Green's going to win this matchup. I think he's going to win. But I think that Glenn Johnson shows a valiant effort. And I think it. I think that people are going to think Glenn Johnson wins. But Alan Green takes it on the scorecards. That's just my opinion on the matchup. I could, and I could be all the way wrong. But you know, it is what it is. But I'm going to go with Alan Green winning the matchup. Glenn Johnson um, probably um, getting it stolen from him. Who knows? But anyway, guys, that was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.